Hello everybody. We're going to take a look today at a tool to help you remove a bearing from a wheel. In this case it's a motorcycle wheel. And normally you would either use a slide hammer and pull it out or poke it out from the other side with a uh, rod or screwdriver or something like that. But unfortunately in this case I had a bearing go bad and when I tried to pull it that happened. So uh, the bearing kind of disintegrated. There's not a whole lot to get a hold of. And if you take a look in here, uh, you can sort of see that the race is still in here, uh, but there's just a tiny little lip under there and I can't really get at it from the other side. It wasn't budging and um, I couldn't poke it out. So uh, I didn't actually have one of these, but I went out and bought a an Orion uh, motor tech blind hole collet bearing race and seal puller. So uh, basically the way these work is that you you have a collet that uh, you put in the hole gets a little bigger and this little edge right sorry right here this little edge right here can go under the the edge of the bearing race and pull it out this way sorry, this way and you do have a couple choices uh, in this kit there's a slide hammer um, that you can hook this to, um, or there's a puller that I'm gonna use. I did try the slide hammer, didn't even budge, just picked up the tire. So what we're gonna do today is um, we're gonna find the right collet. This happens to be the right one. It goes in there. I'm gonna expand it using this screw, and it's gonna tighten in there. And then I'm gonna hook it up to the puller right there, and we'll see how it goes. All right, so the first step is to um, put the collet in there and tighten it up. Um, I actually happen to use one of these Nipex um, uh, pliers wrenches and a 10 millimeter. And you just start tightening that up until it gets tight. And then make sure it's under the collar there. You probably want to lube these a little bit because they are pretty stiff. Yeah, we're almost there. That bottom one is uh, a 17 millimeter, but if you just use a wrench on it, it kind of falls down the hole. So that's why I'm using a pliers wrench on this. All right, and then I, I pulled it upwards so that it's sitting right in that groove. Try to keep it as straight as possible. I think I kind of felt it snap into there. And I'm just gonna keep going until it's nicely seated. All right, so it looks pretty straight in there. And we'll set her back down there. Give you a look. You can see it has spread out in a little bit more to hold those edges. And hopefully it's right under that lip there. Seems to be mostly straight up and down. And then we're going to put on the puller piece and see how that goes. Hopefully you guys can see. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some boards to spread across here. Now, if I just did the boards, the puller would just sink right into the wood. Um, I've got a few metal pieces, uh, some angle iron that I'm going to rest the puller on. So I'll put that there in a minute. and. I'm also going to heat up the hub a little bit so that it expands a little bit to make it uh, come out easier. So next step is to put the puller on. Cinch that down. All right, you guys probably won't have a great look at this, but I'm going to uh, actually before I do that, I'm going to heat it up. So I'm not going to heat it up too much. This is aluminum, so it's not going to take too much heat. Basically, the idea is to get the hub to expand, but the race that's inside not to expand. 
and uh, we'll see if that helps a little bit. You could put a little lubricant in there, but um, to get it started, that's not really going to help. When you reinstall these, you can do the same thing and also put your, your new bearings in the freezer and that will help it quite a bit. All right, so hopefully that's warm enough. And let's put our boards across here. Not sure if you guys will be able to see that. Try to get in there as close as we can. Basically, we want to keep it in there as much as possible and um, but keep it straight up and down if we can. Let's be a little taller, almost there. All right. So we'll basically want to get these straight this, this way, right? We don't want to, that to happen. And also, this way we don't want that to happen so try to get it pretty close and then tighten this bad boy up and you can either hold this one and this one or i'm going to hold it down here with the 10 millimeter and then i'm going to use a 24 millimeter on the top and we'll see if that works so then you just start cranking it hopefully we got that other one tight enough there and it looks to be coming out. She's sliding a little bit. That probably wouldn't have happened with uh, without the heat. So you want to be careful on that. I'm gonna, uh, it's just about out here. I might need to back that off just a little and scooch this out so that there's room for the um, for the bearing race to come up there. All right, give her a few more turns. And pop. So, there you go. As you can see, that race was really in there. Um, hopefully it'll uh, focus there. But that's how you use a blind bearing puller, that's a Colette style, and I hope that is helpful.